I have something to admit to y'all, and I'm not proud of it. <clears throat> I, like many others, had my so-called simp days. You know the ones I'm talking about where you're texting that one person all the time and they're all you can think about. And if they needed anything, you'd come to the rush to do it for them. Oh, what's that? You need me to wipe the Hershey stains between your booty cheeks? Oh, well, I mean, that's kind of fucking disgusting if I'm being honest. But of course, my queen. You know, the uh, regular day to day shit. If you're a passive, I'm sure you can relate with me. Sight, little lame ass nigga. I ain't never done none of that lame ass shit. <laughs> Now I'm sure y'all remember Bling Bling Boy and his old Koopa Trooper built ass body always chasing after Susan Tess, but he never got the lady. I mean this nigga literally chewed through a wall to free her, and he still ended up getting no play. I mean this man's thirst levels literally went so far that he ended up hypnotizing Susan Tess to fall in love with him. Oh, bling Bling my love, I could just melt into those big blue eyes of yours. <laughs> the nigga was too stunned to speak. Kids were watching this? I mean, if we're being honest, Mans literally had it all. He was a kid and he was rich. All he had to do was just go to the gym, work on himself a little bit, you know, and then he could pull any of these bitches out here. But instead, he decided to use all his bread trying to pull Susan Test. And because of that, I'm gonna give Bling Bling Boy a simp rating of a B. Don't understand. Don't chick stick. S to the I to the M to the P. Now I think about it, I actually think spending your bread on a thought is one of the biggest simp activities. And this next person we got, bro, he's one of the best person at doing it. This nigga got bread and he's all about his bread. I'm talking about nobody other than Mr. Fucking Krabs. From this moment on, I won't ask you to buy anything for Mrs. Pop. A few moments later. SpongeBob! Mrs. Pop needs to know for a coat! Now it was a sad day seeing Mr. Krabs go from the money-making successful business owner we all know to... Well, this. He needs some milk. Y'all ever have those friends growing up that acted completely normal until someone they liked came around? And then out of nowhere, they started acting brand new, talking about stories about yacht parties that you never heard about in your five years of friendship. That's Mr. Krabs. I mean, bro literally had SpongeBob doing errands all around town for Mrs. Puff and got mad at him every time he spent his money. Even though he told him to spend his money. Like, what type of lame shit is that? The craziest thing about this is I don't even think bro was clocked in during this shit. Like, that's low-key illegal. Hey, yo, SpongeBob, if you need a numbered workers' comp, I got you. Like, literally, later on in the episode, Mr. Krabs finally gets to take Mrs. Puff out on a date. And he does the absolute most. I'm talking foot massages, tableside art. I mean, shit, this nigga even paid someone to play music live at his restaurant. Do you know how much it would cost to pay a nigga to swim down to the bottom of the ocean to set the mood so you can get some fish -ussy? This nigga must be Aquaman. With all that taken into consideration, Mr. Krabs gets a simp rating of an A. What? S to the I to the M to the P. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind going steady, taking you to a dance, being sweethearts through high school, going to college together, getting married, remaining deeply in love as we go really old together and spend our golden years traveling the world and extending our lifespans with the advanced technology that will be available in the future until we eventually crumble into atoms and we're scattered across the cosmos where we'll float together for all eternity? Um... Next on the list, ladies and gentlemen, we have the one and only Timmy Turner. I remember watching this show for years growing up, and the whole time this nigga was simping over Trixie. Like, damn! Eventually, you would think bro would move on. I mean, bro literally would have done anything to get with her. Bro would have literally done anything to get with her. Bro literally would have done anything. To get with her. I don't know where I felt like I get a little drink, right? Here, do you, bud? Whoa, 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 now I'm not saying that he take it to those type of limits, okay? But I mean, Timmy literally did break the god parent rule book so he can make every girl in his town fall in love with him without their will. Okay, Cosmo, it's time to break the rules. I wish every girl in Dimsdale was in love with me. <laughs> love you, Timmy. So he basically took it to those limits. And to top it all off, y'all should have seen how this man's reacted when he finally got some action. This bitch must have filled his ass with the Holy Spirit. Like, how do you just start levitating? Fuck the bitches, get the bag, you the next mind freak! But that's neither here nor there. Taking everything we talked about into consideration, I'ma give Timmy Turner a simp rating of a B. But you compliment and adore me. S to the I to the M to the P. And last but not least, we have the simple all simps, Kanye West. Oh my god. Only lame niggas say that.